Hi, this is Brandon Spilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to show you how to use a lacrosse ball on your feet to improve your ankle range of motion. Uh, so some basic soft tissue work for the feet. So I got a lacrosse ball here. You can buy these from you know any kind of sports store. Um, but they're really great because they've got some give to them, but at the same time they're also pretty durable. So we're going to just put that on the floor here. I got my shoes off. And when it comes to... Uh, using the lacrosse ball on the bottom of the feet. The big areas that we really want to focus on, considering when we do anything uh, athletic, we're basically focused on big toe, pinky toe, and heel. We're trying to create three points of contact. That's where the majority of our foot stance should be. Um, you're certainly going to roll the whole foot, but generally that's where you're going to find problems is at the, uh, the metatarsals over by the big toe and the pinky, and then at the bottom of the ankle. I'm sorry, the bottom of the foot where your Achilles comes underneath and it attaches. So basically I like to start here at the, the edge of my foot here or the heel of my foot, roll back and forth a couple times, slowly apply a little more pressure and then once I kind of feel that there isn't really, you know, I don't really have any issues there, but as soon as I come to the lateral side of my foot I start feeling it. So then basically I just work up, whoop, I just work up my foot and come around the outside it's hard to go slow with this. You want to try to, but you know you don't want the ball to go away from you. And then you go up to my pinky toe, and then I just basically go up and down, and slowly basically think about working each toe. So I'm working kind of the middle ones now. I'm going to try to slowly apply a little more pressure. And then the same thing on my big toe. That's also where I have a lot of issues, big toe. So spending some time there. You can even try to move your feet back and forth. I'm sorry, your toes back and forth. And really spend some time there and then obviously you would just switch sides. So it's very, very simple. Just gonna roll that on the bottom of your feet. But again, the main three points of area that you're gonna wanna focus on are the heel, the, and the metatarsals of the uh, pinky toe and the big toe. And then obviously any other issues that you might be having, lateral part of the foot, maybe some of your arch issues, um, and just slowly roll. And that should let your foot feel a little better. If you're somebody that has really bad plantar fasciitis, this is another thing that can be something that's very beneficial to slowly try to get everything to loosen up and improve some soft tissue quality. But you know, if you're having major feet issues, I would see a specialist. Um, you know, this is only really designed to work on a little bit of soft tissue work and improve range of motion at the ankle joint. Um, and then we're gonna hope that has a trickle up effect uh, up the system as we do anything else. So if you got any questions, feel free in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.